Hello, welcome to Smart Timber Graphics. My name is George. In this video, we'll create a pendulum animation using a couple keyframes and a very simple expression. Let's get started now, and I'll explain it more throughout our tutorial. Let's create a new composition. The name doesn't matter. Also, choose the appropriate dimensions for yourself. Click OK. Once inside the composition, select the ellipse tool, set fill to none and the stroke to solid color. Give it a width of 10 pixels for now. Also make sure to bring up title action safe to see the center point and create a circle like that. Make sure to hold shift to get the, pro the proportional size. A line in the middle. You can also rename this to circle to stay organized. Go ahead and add trim path to our circle. Expand its properties. Create keyframes for start and end. Set start to 49.9 and end to 50. Also set offset angle to 98 degrees. And then go to one second, set start to zero and end to 0 0.1. Okay, so this is what we'll have at the moment. Then go ahead and add offset paths, expand its properties, set line join to round join, and increase the amount to your liking. Something like 60 will do it. Now we'll have a circle bouncing back and forth, but it's not bouncing back and forth at the moment. That's what we are going to fix. So let's go ahead and alt click the stopwatch. So hold your alt and click on the stopwatch. And here let's type a simple expression, loop out. And once you do, you'll get a suggestion. So click tab, it'll automatically fill it out for you. Then here inside the parentheses type brackets. And again, you'll, you'll get a suggestion. We need the one that says ping pong, select it. And then go ahead and select this expression and press Control c to copy it because we'll be using it multiple times then go ahead and alt click the end and paste that same expression here just like that and now we'll have a circle that'll be looping back and forth that's the first step done now let's uh, select the circle press u to reveal all the keyframes and let's go ahead and select the bottom keyframes by three frames so one two three just like that this will give it a stretchy look, yeah, like you see right now. Next step will be to create a line. So zoom in nicely, select the sh uh, the pen tool, and just create a, a line like that. Make sure to hold shift to get a perfectly straight line and bring it under our circle. Let's rename this to line again to stay organized. And we you can see the line bit through our circle, we don't want that, so in order to avoid it, let's expand the properties of circle, go to ellipse 1, turn on or fill, expand its properties, and set the background color something like black, so we no longer see our line bit inside of our circle. So that's done as well. Next step will be to select our line, um, select the uh, pan behind tool, and move our anchor point to here. Make sure you hold control so it snaps into place. Then click R for rotation. Create a keyframe. Go to one second. And set the rotation to minus 108 degrees. Okay. Then click U to reveal all the keyframes like that. Select all of them. Press F9. And head over to the graph editor. Drag these points to the right. And keep the influence at 70% roughly. Then Select these points and drag the handle to the left until the influence says about 70. So move back and we forgot to create a loop out expression for our line. So let's alt click the rotation and paste that same expression here. Click away. So now we'll have a looping animation that works perfectly. Okay. We can go ahead and spice this up by adding a trail. So let's expand the circle properties, select ellipse one, trim paths and offset paths and right click and click group shapes. You can also rename this to stay organized. So let's name this pendulum. Then you select it and press control D to duplicate, bring it under and let's rename this to trail. Then expand its properties. Let's hide offset paths, we don't need them. And expand the ellipse one properties and hide the fill. We don't need a fill. And expand stroke one. 
And here where it says dashes, hit plus, expand trim paths properties. And we don't see a trail at the moment. That's because we need to offset the end keyframes by a couple of frames. Just like that. Now we can see it, the trail. And here, adjust the dashes to your liking. Something like this looks good to me. Also set line cap to a round cap. So you get a rounded, well, shapes pretty much. So this is what we'll have now. We could go ahead and add more trail. Let's uh, duplicate the trail. Set it, select it, press Ctrl D, bring it under. And expand its properties, go to ellipse 1, ellipse path. And what we can do is just simply increase the size and adjust it to somewhere around here. And let's make this trail a bit stretchier since it's on the outer part. So in, in order to do that, let's go to Trim Paths 1, select the bottom keyframes and offset them by one more frame, just like that. So now we'll get a longer trail. And let's select the trail again, plus Control D to duplicate it, bring it under. And for this one, we'll do the opposite. We'll actually decrease the size to something like this. Then expand the Trim Paths properties and offset the, the end keyframes, so one frame back in order to get a, a shorter and a less stretchier trail, like that. Okay, so let's preview what we have so far. Okay, doesn't look all that bad. So we can spice this up by adding motion blur. So if you don't, don't see this panel, press F4 until you do, and turn on the motion blur for both layers. And now we'll have motion blur, exactly that. And you can go ahead and add below so one thing I like to do is select a circle and add a drop shadow to this. Let's set distance to zero, set softness to something like 45. And let's choose some bright, bright color. I like to use this color. And you can see that we are getting the subtle glow. If you want to make this glow more intensive, just add an actual glow. And you can increase the radius to like 60. And now the glow will be much more intensive. Yeah, like just like that. And if you want to quickly add the same glow effect to our line, since it's sort of left out alone, you select the two uh, effects, Control C, then select the line, and Control V to paste them. And boom, now you have a ready animation that's glowing all that nicely. You can go and experiment with this even further, adding more layers, more colors, and more trails. So it's completely up to you. At this point, our tutorial is complete. At this point, our tutorial is complete. I hope that you learned something new and enjoyed this video. I want to thank you so much for watching and for all the support lately. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.